Okay, so what was the benefit of your dad leaving? To uh, get to experience that other uh, life I might not have otherwise had. And so this is a benefit to you? Absolutely, yeah. So tell me what were the benefits of that new life with that new family? Every other weekend or whatever. <clears throat> um, hmm. Well, different experiences, different uh, extended circle of friends, different um, family dynamic. Siblings. siblings, yeah. You had siblings. Yeah. You got to learn different things with different siblings. Yeah. And how did that scenario serve you in your baking and connection? How did that new experience with dad serve that? I'm sure it's right in front of me, but I can't see it. Did you try to get attention through baking? Was that your little thing that you could use? Not to yet at that time. Make yourself special? No. Okay. <clears throat> It wasn't there at the time. No. Did anybody did anybody bake and you noticed? Like did your stepmom? Um yeah. yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold the fort. <laughs> Can you <laughs> You resistant little I'm bastard. Sorry. <laughs> you warned me that I would need a crowbar to work with you. And yep. I'm like, I'm up for the challenge. Give me difficult cases, agoraphobia, IBSD, or whatever the hell you call it. Give them to me. And you were right, you're a bit tough. <laughs> so tell me about her baking, the stepmom, right? Yeah. Um, what, was, what was the deal with that? She uh, had always been a food person um, for whatever reason. I don't know, but she uh, was always in the kitchen and not did always. Did she but... introduce you to your way? Did she use that to connect with you? Intentionally, I don't know, but I think that started. Not intentionally. Yeah. Let's say, let's, say it, well, let's say it had no intention whatsoever. It was just her expressing herself. Yes. And she wasn't trying to be manipulative. Let's just say that she just, just did it because she just loved doing it. Did you notice that that was an effective way of bonding her to you? In the beginning, especially when you're kind of like, who is this woman? Yeah, that food was fantastic. <laughs> So what did you discover by that scene, oh, by that whole scenario of what your, who your dad chose? Fuck. This is huge. This is huge. <laughs> if you, okay, let, 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 let's just kind of sum it up here, dude. <laughs> this is a big deal. If your dad had not divorced your mom, who wasn't into the baking and the food thing, And he went to a, a family woman with a previous family and different values. If he never made that switch and never left, what would be the drawback to your thinking, to your connection with yourself and others? I would never, ever have developed that connection with food and happiness and people's reactions and seeing that tied together. Fucking A. Wow. Do you still believe that your dad should not have left? Not for a minute. Look at the whole scenario of you with your control issue of, oh, I couldn't control my parents. They should have stayed together. That scene of you helping your mom, that where you became special, where all of a sudden you found your specialness and then you got to go every couple weekends and then have siblings. And then all of a sudden you learn, wow, you can do a lot with this food thing. Hmm. What would you change about that whole thing, Jody? Nothing, because every Sunday morning when she made that pancake breakfast, 
that was the one time the family came together at least to sit at the table and have this great happy moment and that connection is where it fucking started. Where fucking started. Can you see where your business is based on that connection? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say to your dad now, angry little bitch? <laughs> Thank you. 